Hello everyone. Continue to pray for my health, our finances, um, worldwide salvation. Always pray that you're fun worthy. Um, <clears throat> pray for Deem. I think he has joint issues, which is one of our dogs, our husky. Um, trying to think. Pray for my friend Apolly and her family to be able to get land for, um, I feel like I got hurt my lip again, for um, house sand, for church, and pray for all the orphans, homeless. Um, pray for my friend Kaylee. She is having pain. I'm not sure what's going on. Supposedly nothing serious, but just pray for her healing. Um, my friend Alex, his car issues. My friend Aaron, unspoken. I'm not sure what's going on. I just know he needs prayer. I hate when I feel like I got hair on my lip. Um, I think that's it. If you have prayer, please let me know. It's not drying my nuts. And Letting Go and Trusting God, 180 Devotions for Life's Tough Decisions by Pamela L. McQuaid. Um, move Ahead in Confidence. Zavolt Zaluf the Head, however you say that, had five da daughters. One day his daughters went to the sacred tent. The young woman said, You know that our father died in the desert. Our father left no sons to carry on his family name. But why should his name die out for that reason? Give us some land like the rest of his relatives in our clan so our father's name can live on. Numbers 27, 1 through 4. Woman inheriting land that was pretty much unheard of in Zelothahad's day. But five daughters with no dowry would have been a real drain on the support network of Zelothahad's extended family. And these young women may have become rather independent-minded because they grew up without brothers. Their lack of brothers in a patriarchal society in which men usually held land and had authority was no one's fault. God simply hadn't given Z Zeloif had sons, but that didn't mean he didn't care about his daughters. The culture they lived in didn't stop these courageous women. They went to Moses and asked if, when the land was divided, they might have their father's inheritance. They wanted to honor him by keeping the family alive. As women, we should take Zelophad's daughter's example to heart. Sometimes doing the right thing goes against our culture's trends or traditions, but that doesn't mean we should stop in our tracks. If our goal is within God's will, we can move ahead in confidence. When we want to do the right thing, we can know he will be there, right there with us. I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your Friday. I hope you have a great weekend, and God bless.